Okay, so BuzzFeed is liquid shit personified. They consistently make just like this stupid videos, man. They're just not self-aware enough to see that they're kind of lame. Not me though, I'll tell you guys straight up, I'm very lame. So they've managed to piss off the internet uh, more than a couple times. There was this one mm, semi-recently that a lot of people made fun of, of uh, questions that women had for men. That video got a lot of shit deservedly because of uh, stupid stuff like this. Everybody likes Beyonce. How do you make women sit around and talk about men in movies when y'all easily just sit around and talk about boobs? for hours. Do you have a coochie? In what world does no mean yes? Do you think women that wear makeup are false advertising? We can say the same thing about your dick size. Yes. I'm probably funnier than you. But enough people have made fun of that, uh, and I'm not gonna make fun of that. Actually, I found this video of BuzzFeed trying to kind of pander to the gaming audience. This video is like a year old, and I'm like, super late to the party to be honest so i'm gonna watch it and i'm gonna give my thoughts about it and it's a video called buzzfeed wait what is it called i don't even know it's a video by buzzfeed yellow called people guess gamer slang and uh, i have been playing video games for like since i was four so this video was probably made to pander to people like me right to people who play games and people who know the the, the culture and the lingo and the inside jokes right so I guess we'll see how BuzzFeed uh, aims to entertain me. I got my honorary gamer glasses that I got after I defeated Zorg5. This makes me an official critic, yes? <coughs> <coughs> it's already made me sick and I haven't even watched it yet. We asked some experienced gamers to break it down. Where was I? I'm experienced. I have the official glasses. These people don't have glasses. I have the official gaming glasses. Look how trendy these guys are on their portable. What is that? What is that? Hold on. Is that the Wii U? I don't know what this guy on the left's holding. I'm I'm kind of ashamed of myself actually. All right, BuzzFeed. I'm ready for the first word, man. Throw it at me. Fucking slap me. Glass cannon. Glass cannon. I don't know what that is. I've never heard that term before in my life. Man, I just put these on, fuck. I guess I can't wear the honorary glasses anymore, shit. My first thought is dildo. Why is your first thought dildo? <laughs> and in is supposed to be something that shoots things and destroys things and glass is stereotypically fragile. So glass cannon, I'm guessing is a, uh, like a weapon or a character that can easily be defeated, maybe? A bunch of glasses like flying up someone's ass? What the frick? Buzzfeed, what is your freaking problem? So we got vaginal and we got anal. So maybe this next person will be oral. Maybe they'll get a little ear action going on, eh? Glass Cannon is a character that has- Don't say anything about his voice, don't say anything about his voice, don't say anything about- That guy has a really weird shirt. Smooth. It's high attack power, but low defense and stamina. Usually it's your magic users. This is like... Uh, Tanking. Okay, that's when you're uh, an asshole that doesn't die and you take all the damage for everybody on your team. Easy, man. Fucking professional. I get to wear these again. Hell yeah. Like when you drink a bunch of Jolt Cola to stay awake all night so you can keep playing. The caffeine problem, man. You got any caffeine? You got any caffeine for me, man? man. <laughs> if you sink someone's ship. Is this one video gamer's boink? And I quote, when video gamers boink. Hey, baby, you wanna, you wanna tank tonight? You want some uh, Netflix and tank? You wanna play some Overwatch? I'll be the tank. When gamers boink, you fucking... First of all, we don't even boink, so I don't know why. I don't know where you get this idea that we boink. When video gamers boink. It purposely takes the brunt of the attacks, leaving everyone else to do their own thing. Sort of like Groot. Look how trendy we are. Crossplay. Crossplay. That's like when uh, a console and another console, like can play with each other uh, online. Like Rocket League does, that's what crossplay is. Crossplay is playing a character opposite your gender. It's a combination of the words cross-dress and cosplay. God damn it. 
I don't know, what, is that real? Is that a real thing? Like, I know it's a real thing, but is it a real term? Hmm, Google says yes. More power to you guys. So I- I don't know what a white mage is. I'm a noob, I guess. They better have noob on this because they swear to God. Call your mom when you want more Mountain Dew or Cheetos. So this is the mage that heals you because it's white and white means good and that means you're an angel. And black people are bad and they're devils and they're gonna go to hell. But white's good, yeah, white power. White mage, probably the most standard yet most important character in a game. Their job is to use magic to heal people. Hiding, I don't, I don't know these terms. I've never heard these terms, I think. I'm kind of disgracing myself here a little bit. Kiting is when you've been playing video games for so long that you've got gnarly pit stains and you've got to keep your arms up like it's a kite. When, if you like jump off a building in a game. I That's called being a dumbass. I would say this is when you take one of your members, you tie them to something, maybe fill them a little helium, and then go up so they could do like a scouting kind of thing. That was like really specific, dude. Like, hold on, say that again. When you take one of your members. When you take one of your members. You tie them to something. And you tie them up. Maybe fill them a little helium. And you forcefully fill them with helium. I'm guessing forcefully because nobody's gonna let you put helium in their bodies. And then go up so they could do like a scouting kind of thing. And then they go up and then they scout. First, what game lets you do that? Because that sounds like a pretty cool game. Second of all, why is that your thought? If I had to guess what the kiting is, I don't know what kiting is. You're holding a kite, you're holding something and it's flying, right? So kiting, you're the experienced player, I guess, and you're uh, stringing along somebody and you're letting them fly, you're letting them get better. I'm surprised you didn't say you filled their ass with helium, freaking Buzzfeed. Reeling is a hit and run tactic. You use it to get enemies right where you want them. Yep, reeling them in. That's from Portal, and Portal is a very cool game, by the way. This is a reference to the game Portal. You never get the cake. It was a lie. That's why when things don't go as promised, gamers always say, the, the cake, cake is, is a lie. lie. Die, 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 die. I'm probably funnier than you. What gamer slang did we admit? I like all of them. First of all, okay, so I think I only got tanking. That's the only word I have heard of before. Uh, and then like, cake is live, but that's more of a meme, not really like a term. Freaking, you're a bunch of freaking noobs, man. You're a bunch of you're a bunch of YouTube tryhards. How's that for you? How's that for game of slang, huh? Freaking Buzzfeed, man. Why am I making this? Okay, so that's it. Um, if Buzzfeed makes any more stupid shit, which they will, I will be sure to. Hop right aboard it. But if you like BuzzFeed, please just don't. Thanks for watching.